So another thing I want to mention is we used to do constant seances in the building. We did a seance in every single part of that building just to see what the energy would come through because it was such an interesting place. And one of the seances we did during a special night was inside of, we call it the locker room. And it's just because of the displays. But if you walk in the main door, you turn to the right and go to the end of the hall. There's the dark room on the left with the walls painted black. And then this locker room on the right with its locker displays. And there's a fence in there and whatnot. So we're inside this. They used it as a meeting room. So they had this big meeting room table. And we had set up to do a seance. So everybody's sitting around the table holding hands. And you know that, that question. Everybody doing a seance always asks that question. If there's something here, prove it. Or if there's something in the room, make yourself known. Something along those lines. And even though everybody asks that question, they don't ever expect something to actually happen. And that was the beauty of this moment. I guess it was just the energy of the night, the energy of the group. Uh, we also had a small recorder recording the session to see if any EVPs, any ghost voices would come through. So the leader of the sounds, I believe it was one of the psychics, uh, says, if there's anybody here, prove it. You know, do something in the room. And you can hear right after that in the recording, just this this creaking noise, like, like from somewhere in the room. And I know everybody, because of the lights are off, so you can't see what's happening. And people in the room are freaking out, but the leader's like, okay, just stay calm. Just let, let it happen. And then finally the creaking noise stopped. So they couldn't take that anymore. They, they ended that session and they turn on the light. And what was that noise? A locker door. So a locker door, one of the lockers, which wasn't latched shut or glued shut, slowly opened up by itself. So the creaking noise was the, um, the uh, hinges that were creaking open. So somebody actually got up, closed the door, and then slowly opened it again. It was the exact same sound. So that question for the you know first time I think in the history of seances actually worked. And the fact that you know they asked it and the, the immediate reaction afterwards it still amazes me to this day. Now you're asking the question is like how is this the dark lady? I have no idea. But I say the main energy of the room, the fact that the seance was focusing on her. Maybe they brought it into the space. And also the, the other experience I told you with James down the hallway shows that she was in that hall where the uh, meeting room was, where the seance was happening. So I believe that anything that can that be that powerful, you can attribute to the Dark Lady, especially on that first floor where we did many of our seances in the main gallery too, kind of stirs up the energy. Now, on the uh, validity of that, I mean, during seances, anything can happen. I've, I've experienced this over the years. You know, a seance is a the reason you do them. It's to stir up the energy in a building. So if you can stir up the energy so much so that you're making things manifest, that's a successful seance. It's the only reason you do it. You know, in the historic sense, they, they would use it to call in the recently passed so that that person can communicate with their family. That was the original reason for a seance. But in our sense, when we want people to come in and we want them to leave after having an experience, we want them to leave. And if they were skeptic before, maybe they're believers now. I mean, that's the ultimate goal of, that those events were, were made on. Then in this sense, you stir up the energy, you make things happen. You're, you're giving your living energy to the spirit. So they, that they have the ability to react and the proof that they're there. So in that case, I would say this is a very successful seance inside that boardroom.